Good morning, I'm Olivia. Welcome to my Silver Sneakers Flex Chair Yoga class. Let's get started. So sit up against the back of the chair, if you will, please. Use that nice cushiony back to support yourself. Let me untangle myself from this. There we go. How did that happen? You want to go just call these your toe gloves? <laughs> That's cute. All right. Oh, settle on in. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Sigh. Make a little noise. Oh, let me move this so I can see your face. Just here. Okay. All right. And you know when July, when you were young, and July came around, right? You forgot what day it was, and you forgot what day of the week it was. That's what I want you to do right now, is just forget. Well, okay. I wasn't going to go there. That's why I said remember when you were a kid, all right? So just a lot. So maybe that doesn't work with this crowd, all right? I'll try it on another crowd. Just close your eyes. Let your thoughts drift away and just like when you go to the doctor and he she says take that deep breath in now just get that stethoscope draw your attention to your breath Just imagine that stethoscope is moving from one lobe to the other. I feel that belly move out a bit as well. Take the deepest breath in you've taken. Eyes open, soft gaze. And let's travel out to the edge of the seat. And put the feet right, on the ankles right, or the instep right underneath your knees there. And I'm gonna take my hands and just, I'm gonna press firmly down just to feel all parts of the toes in your shoes or in the earth. Right back up nice and tall. Let the elbows draw down towards the earth. It's going to draw the shoulders away from the ear. That's a good thing. <coughs> and then find the tip of the sit bones. Maybe a little rock and roll around on them. And then you find the tip of the sit bones. Lifting up on the pelvic floor. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Let the heart lift a little bit. Let the collarbones broaden. Put an ever so half an inch tuck in your chin to get the back of the neck really long. And voila, seated mountain pose. Close your eyes. And this time as you breathe in, let that breath move front, back, side to side around your rib cage so that the whole entire chest cavity is going to expand. And feel the belly move down a bit because the um, diaphragm is going to push out on those organs. One more breath. All right, lifting that left ear to the ceiling. Let the uh, head, the crown of the head, go off to the upper right. Pass through the center. Same thing on the other. Without moving the shoulders, to really draw your attention to keeping the shoulders drawing away from the ears. And come out. Now shine that light forward as you tuck the chin. And then let's shine that light to the ceiling, maybe back just a little bit, not a lot, just a little. So we go through that again. That light's going to shine off to the right, up high, and then off to the left, up high, and then forward, tuck the chin a wee bit, light back to the ceiling, maybe up just a little bit behind you. All right, very good. 
and then slide off and roll the shoulders. And connect with your legs each time as you come forward. Again, two more. All right, so let's just reverse this. Come right back up, elbows back, up and around. Elbows back, up and around. Two more. And last one. All right, and then we're going to move the rib cage around. So you're going to feel the weight transfer in the hips as well, in the sit bones. Feel a little side stretch as you do this. And then switch and go the other direction. <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch. Okay, coming all the way back up. All right, let's take the feet about chair width apart, maybe a little bit wider. I'm going to keep my arms straight and without pulling back on the kneecaps, I'm just going to lift my heart, deep breath in, and then exhale, tuck the belly, scoop the belly, and roll back towards the tailbone. So my hands are staying really right there at the kneecaps. And then again, tip of the sit bones, lift the heart, flexing the back, and then scoop the belly, pull that navel right back in. You're going to roll back towards the tailbone. So some seated cat and cow. Deep breath in. Exhale, we round. Two more. Exhale. And last one. And exhale, moving with intention. All right, so I'm going to take my feet a little bit wider, and now I'm going to go around even more. All right. So this moves down into the hips a little bit more. Get the shoulder involved in it, one shoulder, the other shoulder, really get it going. It's up to you. A little rock and roll. And let's switch and go the other way. And again. One more time. All right, and all the way back up. Feet in. You lift up on that right leg and just let it flop to the ground. And then, you, yep, make a noise. Let it flop down. That's why we keep sneakers on. <laughs> and again. All right. So let's kind of wake up the foot right there. Let's leave this one up and pull it right up towards the shoulder as best you're able to. All right. I'm going to use one hand on it now and let it go out to the side. We're going to circle it around. Head over heart over pelvis here. Nothing moving. So resist that urge to roll back and everything. And if that means you need to take a smaller range of motion, that's okay. Focus goes really to the arm that's doing the work and to the leg. One more time. All right, so from here, extend it out. Let's brush the ground, come right back in. And again, brush the ground. Use your hand if you need to. Don't if you don't. It's up to you. One more. Nice deep breath in. Okay, put that foot down. Hinge forward at the hips, hands on the thigh muscles, look under your seat, push off the hands, round back up, all the way up, and up with you comes the other leg. Are you smelling french fries today? Yes. yes. It smells like McDonald's, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, and we're going to circle this out. So same thing applies here, head over heart over pelvis, small range of motion, if that works for you. If you can control it when it's bigger, do so, but otherwise, everything's still. Bring that knee in. I'm going to go out, down, brush the ground, right back in. And, and I'm articulating my foot, kind of my toes too, but that's not necessary. And again. And one more time. All right. And all the way down. Hands on the thigh muscles. Come forward, bring the heart forward into little baby cobra. Look under the chair, now scoop the belly, push off the hands, and roll the spine right back up. Okay. Arm all the way up and around, and just let it land there. Now, we're going to lift it back up and bring it back to the front. Kind of rewind the video, same thing. In order to bring that back, you got to fire on those abdominal muscles. All the way up and back to the front. And again, right and left. And back to the front. And one more on the other side. Same thing. All the way back. And back to the front. Okay. 
from here, outside edge. We're going to inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round the upper back. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Breath seems perfectly normal right there, doesn't it? Breathe into the heart space. And then you exhale. One more time. And then exhale. Now stay here. We're going to switch. We're going to inhale into the back right here. And then exhale, open. Inhale, into the back. Exhale, open. So it's like you're going to use those shoulder blades to squeeze the breath out. One more time. And exhale. All right. We're going to stand up. You can use hands on the lap. You can use the chair. You can take them like this. Deep breath in. Exhale, we rise up. Now, put your face right between that space, all the way up, a down, and around. Okay, now from here, I'm going to slide down as if I'm trying to reach towards the knee. So drop the right shoulder, lift the left shoulder. Come right back up. Same thing, I'm going to drop the left shoulder, lift the right shoulder. Come right back up. Look towards the earth, so turn the gaze, working the neck. Belly in, always here. And one more time on the other side. All the way back up. All right, let's take this deep breath in. We're going to forward fold right down the center here. Now, from here, I'm going to slide up my legs, let the heart move forward. So I'm going to look about four feet in front of myself here. Squeezing the shoulder blades, belly in, and then circle sweep. Coming into this chair pose, be sure you can still see your toes. Take the gaze forward. And then I'm going to come into powerful pose. The last piece of powerful pose today is... Take the gaze up just a little bit and feel that back work. All right, lovely. Reach to the ceiling and release back down. All right, a little shake out. Grab a nice big drink of water and we'll move around to the back of the chair. I'm going to move this back for now. I think you'll be okay there. Okay. Somebody's cup? Oh, no, it's Claire's. I don't think there's a Claire in here. <laughs> That's a general vibrational name, huh? Isn't it? Okay, hang on, I'm gonna spend, find some music now. Now that I got my act together, sort of. <laughs> Turn this off so I don't get a phone call. Perfect, thank you. It's cooperating. in the wrong place for me. Come into downward facing dog if you will. Hands on the chair. Splay the fingers out if you can. Walk your feet back. They're going to come underneath your hips. You're going to begin to lower your heart towards the earth. Now don't let the head fall below the arms right there or the head fall below the heart. Tip the pelvis so the tailbone, sit bones go to the back wall. Pull that navel in. Soften the knees as much as you need to. Come to some stillness again and find that breath. One more breath. Taking the gaze over the chair, so look forward to me. Step into the chair, maybe not all the way, but closer into the chair. And then we're gonna rise up and drop one heel down towards the ground and then the other. Like you're trying to break in your sneakers, all right? So a little flexibility in the feet which we, use, we lose because we do spend so much time in shoes. All right, let's lift up on that right foot, take it out to the side, and just a little circle. I'm going to transfer the weight. I'm going to use the chair. If you don't need it, don't use it, but it's okay if you do. All right, All right. and then put your foot in there and push back. Let's go the other side, same thing. Transfer the weight, circle the ankle, wiggle the toes. Yep, nice. Nice, and then push it up and push right back. Deep breath in. Come right down the center. Don't hit your face right there. 
We're gonna halfway rise, heart comes forward, belly comes in, and circle sweep. Surround the chair here with your hands. Be sure you can see the toes. Open into this powerful pose, and the last piece to then, I'm gonna add this each time now, is lift the heart. You really feel that back work just a little bit. Push the ceiling back up. Yeah, all the way up and down. And step the feet out, turn the toes to the diag to the corners of your imaginary box that you are in. Star pose, reaching up. You can let the shoulders ride up for a minute, but we're gonna reconnect them, all right? So drop your shoulders, and the next thing is to connect the ribs to the hips. So my hips, my ribs aren't popping, all right? Yeah, shoulders are down, bend the elbows, that's okay, that's all right, deep breath in. And now circle sweep down, come right back up. These we call sunflowers. I want you to touch the fingers as you come down, and touch the fingers as you come up. Take the gaze with your hands if you can, if that works for you. And if you need one chair, it's right there in front of you. All right. And again, breathe with this. One more time. You bring the hands to the heart and come over to the right and then the left. So we get the knees going first. All right. And then I'm going to circle sweep and then circle sweep. Like you're gonna run your hands through water here and then through water here. Turn the gaze towards your hands as well. It's a little Tai Chi kind of stuff today. Keep the air moving, won't get so hot. <laughs> and one more time. All right, come back to the center. And I'm gonna sink into my <clears throat> goddess pose here. Toes are still facing out, tailbone draws towards the earth, all right? So the moment you feel like you're gonna come forward, Rise back up, all right? So shoulders are gonna stay on this wall behind you. I'm gonna push my right elbow, right hand forward and pull back on the left elbow. It's gonna turn my body just a wee bit, come right back to the front. But nothing moving from the navel down. Exhale, we push. Inhale, pass through center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And back to the center. All right, deep breath in, star pose. Lovely. Walk your feet in, back to downward facing dog. Okay. And breathe. Okay, where you are, step that right foot in halfway between the left foot and the chair. And I'm going to rise up in what I would call upward facing dog. Take the It's like you have um, a, a light right here in your, at your heart, and you want to shine it up. And then you're going to roll back, and I'm going to lift that right toe and rock back, bend that back knee. And again, come right back up. My arms are going to straighten, lift the heart, and then back to downward facing dog. You know, except you've got that right foot forward. And again, pushing back up. Step back and switch feet. So the left foot comes forward four times on this side. Roll up, I come to that back toe in the back, and then down, and I am pushing into the chair. Usually I say don't push down into the chair, but I am this time to get some strength in my arms as well. And just the heel of the hand, two more times. One more time. And back, step that back foot, hands on the thigh muscles, reverse swan dive all the way back up. Leave with the back of the hands. Now forward fold, come right down the center. We take this halfway rise, squeezing the shoulder blades. Now turn the palms to the earth and the knuckles to the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades in, belly in, and then simply rise back up. Use the toes, push yourself back up. Beautiful, shake out. Okay, quick drink of water, come back. Don't talk among yourselves. <laughs> So from our mountain pose, remember a seated mountain pose, we were sitting on the sit bones, so now we are standing on our feet, and our heels, heels are right underneath the sit bones. All right, and draw the tailbone earthward, uh, downward towards the earth. Yep. Let the shoulder heads draw towards the side wall, so instead of here. <sighs> Lift the heart. <laughs> okay, 
let that right heel leave the earth. So you're gonna transfer the weight a little bit, but everything is still the same. It all, everything comes from mountain pose. So notice how broad you are in the shoulders. We have to remember that. Up comes the foot, toe ball, heel goes down. I'm gonna turn that toe out behind a little bit and we rise up into warrior one. Beautiful, drop your shoulders. You've got one of these fit balls, which is a great big ball we use in the, in the gym. I'm gonna arc over to one side, belly in. Over to the other side. Back to the center. Open the arms, press the elbows towards your back heel. So let them draw towards the heel. And circle sweep. I'm gonna hand that big fit ball to you right here. Lifting it up by your head and all the way back up. Deep breath in. Nice. Hands find the chair, back to the mountain pose. Nice and tall. Other foot comes up. Don't use the chair if you need it, but if you do, that's why it's there. It's amazing. One little finger will help you do that. Here we go back. Toe ball heel. Turn that toe out. Front knee over the ankle. Back leg is straight. Rise up, warrior one. Beautiful. Drop your shoulders again. Yeah, you should be getting a nice stretch in this hip flexor. And th if this is too far, please feel free to bring the leg in. What's key, front knee is always bent. Back leg is always straight. Now, we're going to arc over one side. Nice. Side stretch here, to the other side. Beautiful, come back to the center, elbows to the back, to the heel, they stretch, lift the heart. Circle sweep, I hand you the beach ball right here, and you're gonna lift it up as you hinge forward, breathing. All the way back up, step that back foot in, reach to the ceiling, lovely, lovely, and all the way down, back to downward facing dog. And breathe. Bring the hands back to the thigh muscles, bend your knees, reverse swan dive. Maybe your fingers will reach the ground, maybe they won't, it's okay. And hands back to your heart. Okay, open. Step the feet wide, out, out. We're gonna turn that right toe to the right wall. I'm gonna turn the left toe to the front of your imaginary box, all right? You have to imagine you're in since we've got people on the diagonal here. And sink into that knee and then come right back. I just add these arms for a little momentum, create a little breeze in here, and, and back. One more time. Now we're going to leave that right arm out there, all right, and all the way back. Elbow, shoulder to shoulder, and reach back. Take your gaze. Both arms are parallel. Turn the palms down. Yeah. Grab the big, uh, let's see, front knee is bent. It's right over the ankle. And then push that baby toe edge of your foot into the ground on your shoe. Yeah. Broaden the collarbones once again. Mountain pose, yeah. And the same thing happens here. Deep breath in. Exhale. Straighten that leg. Bend the knees. Stay there. Stay there. Reach. And down. Lifting up. And down. Both arms up. We're going to drop just the left arm to that thigh. Keep that front knee bent. Turn the gaze. Reach the hands maybe an inch further. And you can look towards the arm, you can look towards the hand, it's up to you. You can use the chair, the leg, or your back, right pocket. Clear your hand. Now, there's my, I like this image, there's a paintbrush up there. And I want you to reach for it, and they're gonna paint that right wall. So reach all the way out to it, windmill the arms, and come into extended angle. That left arm goes up as well, beautiful. Maybe look towards the ground, maybe look forward, maybe turn the gaze towards the arm, but keep that shoulder tucked in as you do that. That head's gonna wanna fall back and it's heavy, all right? So you wanna keep the chin tucked in towards the shoulder there as you reach up, beautiful. All right, take your gaze to me. And notice you have this long line, but it's on the diagonal, right? I'm gonna release that left right arm too, forward. You can put some money in your hand there, yeah? And now we level this back out. Beautiful. Palms down, head over heart over pelvis. So what I have to do is I have to drop this hip right here and get my hip bones level again. Yeah. Nice. That's a lot of inner thigh stretch there. Back to star pose. Keep pressing. Hands to heart. And then we go to the other way. So we're going to turn that left toe to the left wall. Sink into the knee. Right toe to the front. Bent. Straight. Yep. Scoop. And back. Create that breeze again. Two more. 
Last one, hold that left arm there. Here we go, fingertips, wrist, elbow, shoulder to shoulder, and back. And it's pulled you right back up, head over heart over pelvis, right? Palms to the ground, splay your fingers out, really stretch them far. Grab the earth with that baby toe edge of your foot or your shoe. That's gonna keep that knee from buckling in there. Yeah, nice and tall. All right, deep breath in. And that exhale, inhale. I'm going to straighten the leg, exhale, it finds its merry way back over the ankle again. So nothing changes there, right? Lifting, right over the ankle, beautiful, again. All right, and that's one last time. Now we're going to leave this left arm up here, then let that right arm float down. All right, turn your gaze towards the arm, maybe look towards the elbow, you can use the chair, the thigh or your back left pocket for your hand. Drop that right hip bone, lift that left hip bone a little bit. And now we reach for that paintbrush and paint that left wall. Windmill the arms coming into extended angle. How beautiful is that? Nice and smooth. Moving with, moving with intention. You can look earth, earthward forward or turn the gaze, but if you do, keep the chin tucked right here unless that head wants to fall back, right? So working the neck muscles here as well. Okay. All right, this time let's just circle that arm back around, come back to our star pose this way, so toes to the front, drop your shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips, good strong core. If the wind came along, I wouldn't blow you down. It would blow us down. Clap your hands and back to the heart. Walk your feet. Downward facing the Lovely. Turning that tailbone to the back wall. Any movement you need now. I've come to the point where I need a little bit of movement in my hips and my legs. So whatever you need, go ahead and take it. Turn the gaze over the chair. At the end, walking into the chair. Let's grab a drink of water. Okay, so back to the chair. Turn to the right wall. You've got your chair handy, so put one hand on the hand on the chair. I'm gonna slide that right foot forward and just slowly lift and lower that um, inside, the leg that's closest to the chair. I'm sorry, so it's the left leg, right? The leg that's closest to the chair, the left leg. Just lift and lower it slow. And notice how that right leg is really functioning like a telephone pole, it is still. And as you find balance, maybe begin to release the hand and just lift and lower that leg. And again, two more. And now we're gonna hold that leg up there but I'm gonna use my right hand to do that. So I'm gonna cross over the body and look towards the front and hold. Now fire on those abdominal muscles as you do this. All right, very nice. And maybe you find balance, maybe you don't. Keep this leg strong here though, all right? So like, just don't let it come along for the ride. You can always grab the top of the pants, but I'm gonna flex my foot and keep it really strong. Find length in the spine. Everybody grew a half an inch. And then maybe find balance, it's up to you. All right, come back to the chair, curl that heel to your seat and send it out behind you. Let's take that opposite arm to the back wall. Breathing deep. Now as we come into airplane pose, feel free to drop the toe to the ground. Maybe find balance, lifting the heart always. Remember it's coming for mountain pose, so the, the heart is, uh, the shoulder heads are very, um, collarbones are broad. Come into that balance. All right. We'll put the left hand back on the chair. Drop that toe down and rise up into our high lunge. Again, balance. Keep the hand on the chair if you'd like. If you're able to, release to the ceiling. back by your tailbone. You're gonna hold a beach ball back there, but then I'm gonna hinge forward just a bit. So I have a long line from the crown of my head to my heel. 
You can use that left hand on the chair if you need it. Stretch the fingers out. Really make the arms work, the triceps work there. Maybe turn the palms to the ceiling. Maybe turn them to the ground. Maybe turn them out to the side. Just try a little play with that. All right. Bring the hands back to the heart. Upright. Coming up right now. As I step forward, I reach to the ceiling or use the chair. Deep breath. All the way down. All right. And while we're here, we're going to step back on the other foot. Up comes that arm that's furthest away. So the right hand is going to come back to the heart. Hinge forward. And then drop that right shoulder and look to the front of the room. So you have hold of this chair. You can use one hand or two hands or no hands. But twisted lunge. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, beautiful. Nice long line from the crown of the head to the heel. Beautiful. Look down to the ground, step that back foot in, deep breath. Okay. Rise up on your toes and tiptoe to the other side. Okay, so once again, mountain pose, and then we're just going to start that lift and lower. And it's very slow. What I want you to focus on is really balance. That leg comes up, and those the muscles of the feet start to fire on, so you use them. Okay. You work the hip flexor too. Nice and slow. Toe ball heel going right back down. Let's do four more, then we'll hold the last one up. Two. And here's the last one. We're going to hold it, cross over it with your left hand, and turn to face the front of the room if you're able to. Nice long spine. Pull that belly in. That always supports the back whenever you twist. Let's keep, can you see that foot? Flex it, keep it strong. And maybe find balance. Up to you. All right, back to the front. Heel comes into the seat. You're going to stretch it out in front, and out goes that arm furthest, furthest away from me. So it's the um, left arm. Airplane pose. Lift the heart. Okay. So I don't want you to think down here. I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the heart. Use this image, there's this rush of wind coming right up the front body, and it's gonna slide right down the back body, but it's pushing that front body up. Strong back leg, maybe you find balance, touch the toe on the ground if you need it, it's okay. Don't try to look back to me, look straight ahead. All right, bend that front knee, drop that toe down, rise up into high lunge. Toes on the ground now, high lunge, and maybe, bla maybe balance. <laughs> forward, hold onto that beach ball behind, stretch those hands out, maybe rotate them, palms in, palms out, but stretch them down, make those triceps work. All right, and then circle sweep the arms, bring both feet together, deep breath. Let's step back on the other foot, toe ball heel, no, I'm sorry, heel is up, heel is up. So we, uh, this is the foot that's furthest away from me, so it should be your right leg. No, -uh, left. Left, okay. I'm sideways and I'm doing, yeah, so it's kind of weird. All right, both arms up. If you can, keep holding the chair if you need to. I'm going to bring my hands to my heart and hinge forward right here. And I'm going to use my right hand on the chair because I'm going to drop my left shoulder and look to the front. Now, if you don't need the chair, if you need the chair with both hands, it's okay. Twisted lunge, that back heel is up, the front knee is bent. Nothing different than we always do. Breathing deep. Lovely. And I always say look to the front, to the ground first, and then bring the torso. Step both feet back in, reach to the ceiling. And let's just take that forward fold right here. All the way down. We take this halfway rise. Heart comes forward. And circle sweep. Chair pose. Powerful pose. The last piece, take the gaze up just a little bit and then hold the ceiling up. Oh, it's down. A little shake out. Grab a drink of water. I have to watch the clock today, huh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. 
All right, so I think that will suffice for our balance today, too. We all remind me next time? The class starts at 10. <laughs> I did okay at 9, but I forgot about 10. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't sit back and get comfy just yet. Lift up on that right foot. Let it draw right up towards the towards the ceiling, all right? We're gonna take a deep breath in, lift the heart, and then exhale. I'm gonna start in my tailbone, make a C shape to my spine, navel towards the spine, drop the forehead down. And then inhale, come right back up, lifting up. Try to keep that leg right there. Exhale, in the tailbone, roll it underneath. You get to the low back, you get to the middle back, you get to the shoulder blades, and then the head drops down. And then start in the low back, push all the way up. Deep breath in, good spine articulation here. Exhale, tailbone comes underneath you. Middle back, upper back, shoulders. <coughs> and then push that low back forward, coming all the way up, and we're gonna take this across the midline. If you've been told not to cross the midline with your foot yet, please feel, don't just put this foot on the ground, it's just fine. I'm gonna keep the toe flexed, and you have choices. You can hold up on the knee, you can open the knee, it's your choice. This foot needs to be right underneath the knee right there. In fact, let's do this today. Let's walk that foot out, just toe heel, just a little bit. And then you gotta bring that knee right over top of it. Ooh, you can get a little extra stretch in there. Let that low back push forward, just like we were doing when we were uncurling. Sit up nice and tall, belly is in, shoulder heads are broad, everything comes from mountain pose once again. Put a little smile on your face as you take a couple of deep breaths in. Should you want a little more, I'm going to invite you to hinge forward. But with that straight spine, that heart moves forward, not the crown of the head. All right, coming out of this, let's cross this leg over. Up goes the left right arm and reach to the back. I'm going to use my left arm for a little bit of leverage there and maybe let that right arm just float down wherever it lands. Pull that right shoulder back, square up the shoulders to the ground, parallel to the earth, yeah. And notice how challenging the breath is now that you're twisted. But take the deepest breath you can. Leave that right hand there, come back to the front. I'm going to extend that leg out. I'm going to come back into the weight, put the weight and the heel in my hands a little bit. Point the elbows to the back wall. Lift the heart. So I'm going to push into the heel of my hand, straightening the arm, which is going to drive my heart skyward. Reverse plank. Come all the way back up. Up comes the other leg. Deep breath in. Exhale, round. And inhale, lift the heart. Arms go straight. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, lift the heart, arms go straight. Start it in the tailbone, and all the way up. Okay, so now we cross this leg over. Again, down on the ground is just fine. Sit and enjoy, focus on your breathing. If you're not following with this right now, that's okay. Choose your own adventure. All right, gently opening or supporting, whatever feels good. Press that low back forward so that spine gets tall. You want a little more, take a hinge forward, leading with the heart. Not the crown of the head, yeah. Sit down. Ah. You lift back up, cross it over, left arm right up past your face and reach to the back and then just let that arm float down wherever it lands is just fine, but just let it rest there. Roll that left shoulder back, so tuck that shoulder blade in around your spine. Turn the gaze if you can. Take the biggest breath you've taken. And then we're gonna come back to the front, but keep that left hand there. Right hand follows, the left leg in front, and the toes up. I'm gonna sit back into the heel of my hands, point the elbows to the back, and then straighten the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades. Keep the chin tucked. right back up. Let's take the feet a little bit wider. Now, you've got that great big fit ball here right now, and it's not your belly. No judgment. It's a fit ball. 
We're going to round over and scoop the belly. Yeah. It's like you're just going to open up that low back space there. The more you round the back, the more you'll open that up. Breathe into the back ribs. And then roll right back up nice and slow. Slide on back to the back of the chair. Feet on the earth. Hands however you would like. Doesn't matter to me at all. Settle on in. A little push back into that nice, soft, cushy chair. Tuck the shoulder blades. Close your eyes. Relax those powerful jaw muscles. So your biting teeth have unclenched. And we come back to those couple of nice deep breaths. One thing that made you laugh, that brought you some joy today. Notice how that turns the corners of your mouth up and just a little bit of a smile. Let's keep that joy all day. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And then bring the hands together at your heart. Drop your chin to your chest. A little wonder, a little peace, a whole lot of joy. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> nice work. Seriously, will y'all remind me, uh, like, when I'm in here, just go, it's 10 o'clock, okay? Oh.